like Storms came to my house as like a 13, 14 year old. Mm. And he was brought to, to me because I had like a studio back then. Yeah, yeah. Like my basic settings. Mm. And he came. And then Jermaine, who is actually his A&R now, That's funny it. enough, like I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was just like, yo, my cousin can spit. The yeah. Rio Ferdinand thing. What's going on? Yeah. Do you get it? I still don't get it, does he? I do he get it, but it's he just like, get it. I would have just, you would have been known as about to just spun Jesse Lingard out of that dance motive. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, even as an Arsenal fan, like, Rio's always been one of my heroes. Yeah, like, yeah. facts. Welcome back to Dara Presents. This is Get To Know, and we've got a big, big brother in the building. You understand? This guy here, Joel Bayer. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing good, man. Thank you very much for having me, man. Bro, Great to be here. It's, it's been a minute. It's been a absolute... But you know what? I feel like we speak a lot on social, so... Do. Has it really been that long? I, I, when was the last time you saw me? I can't, I can't tell you. Uh, it's it been might have been on that's for damn sure. one of those Jamie shoots or Saturn, something like that. Something like Jamie that. Shaw, big shout out to Jamie Shoyer. For real. If you didn't see the last episode, go check that out. I, I think Jamie Shoyer's only nutmegged me once. Yeah. Um, and I think I let him that day. But is besides it? that, I got a really good record. Is it a walking thing and he's I, just... I just kick his ankles, bro. Yeah, like, he, knows the, be done. he knows the drill. He think, you know, no one thinks that he's been nutmegged, but he has been nutmegged. What, about you? Of course. <sighs> Listen, I'm he's, the ta- he's the type to clip it out. Anyway, we're not here for Jamie today. Yeah. We're here for you. So what we're going to start off with is uh, talking about your journey, how mm. it started, uh, what it's led to. Mm. And yeah, man, um, presenting, how, how did you get into it? Well, first of all, um, I've always been like a football lover. Mm. Like, I'm 34. Yeah. Um, I look young, don't, a day, don't look a day over 23. Come on, Come on my brother. <laughs> Come on. But yeah, and um, I think growing up, I was like anyone. Yeah. I was all about, I was all about ball, innit? Playing football. Yeah. Decent, got to steady centre back. Uh, I wasn't even a centre back. What, what I was a DM. Like, so, yeah. Centre back stuff only came after the fitness had gone. Okay, but like <laughs> but uh, and the real. legs had gone. Yeah, like <laughs> played to count up to county county squad. Mm. Um, Borough, Charles at Millwall didn't make it. No phantom injury. I just yeah, it wasn't good enough. But I was like, I could have done semi pro, but it wasn't. Just wasn't always had me. love for football, wasn't it? Yeah, like anyone, you have love for football. Mm. Um. And then, obviously, I just fell out of love with it. I think when I didn't make it, I was a little bit hurt. Yeah. Um. I went uni. What uni did you go? I went Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Swear, uni, you yeah. went off the map. Hampshire, man. Right. I needed to, man. Like, study I think, what? Uh, economics. Economics. But my my uni career was a bit mad. Still, like, did you did you drop out? Like, it's mad. I was just failing bare. Like, yeah. But it's not like I. Why, it's not you, why, I you wasn't have, turning up and that, or you just? Yeah, I just thought uni to me, like the first two years were like a joke. Yeah. Man. Did you like, want to go, or like a parents kind of pushing you and forcing you? And there stuff? was that, yeah. like parents pushing, but at the same time, I had never managed my own life before. Yeah. Or like if moving I'm out and Yeah, moving out. People yeah. don't understand that if you don't manage yourself properly. Mm. I was just on girls. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like cleaning up whatever cleaning up man whatever was you know what i mean mm. if you moved and had a heartbeat you get me sick so then but, so you went uni studied economics then yeah. like creating your own football content how, how did that come about well after uni i went into after i got my act together yeah um i made a promise to myself yeah i said that i'm gonna start something in life mm-hmm. and whatever i start i'm not gonna fail Okay, hard. And and that that come from a, a mad promise. Like I was in some relationship that went left. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, and then but within that relationship, I remember the person would start to talk negativity into me. And mm. I've never been a person that received negativity. Yeah. But through that one time in my life, I remember you start to believe the men. We didn't know it was mental health back then. Yeah, yeah. You start yeah. to believe the negativity, negativity, and then. After a while, I had to get myself out of that mode and yeah. remember who I was. That's sick. So and I it went, help you to get back with your feet or not? not yeah, really. Well, I guess you just, God, I'm, I'm a Christian. So okay. I, I really, it was the first time that I had tapped into my faith. Yeah. I'm honest with you. Like by myself. I grew up going to church and that, mm-hmm. but by myself. And But then the reality is, yeah, so I just said, you, you make those mad promises like I'm never going to fail again. <laughs> Like and literally, that's what I was running with, man, for real. And then after that, I I got a job in pharmaceuticals. Okay. Uh, banged that out after uni. I did well at uni at the end. Yeah. Then I passed and everything. Yeah, yeah everything was yeah. good. Like, I was, so, to be honest with you, I could have got a first. Yeah. Um, but I think by the end of uni, I was just kind of like I wanted to get it done with, so I got a high two one. Oh yeah, steady. Um, but yeah, but after being there that long, that's the no one even celebrated that. Like, it was <laughs> like whatever, mate. You should be in it. You should be getting that. 
but I still you still have to put in work in it. It's a mindset yeah, change. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Then after that, I went into pharma, and it was sick because it wasn't even like a dead job or whatever. Because you know, some people they go, oh, I can't wait to get out of my nine to yeah, five. Oh, I can't yeah. wait. Oh, like, you didn't mind it. Like that. Like, I yeah. think it was a sick job. Like I actually advised people like, right, if you want to make some money, yeah. go into pharmaceuticals. Like you know, like it's 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 good, isn't it? Obviously, some people there's bad there's sides about it. That's a bit mad, but yeah. I I never went that deep into it, innit? Like yeah, I was yeah. like a business analyst, like. Doing my thing, innit? And then after that, my girlfriend at the time uh, felt pregnant or my daughter's mum. Yeah. Big, uh, up the ki- big up the kids to them, though. Yeah, but um, what? My daughter. Yeah. Zara. Listen, both of, the, she, both of them, they're bare cute, man. Uh, I'm, I'm I see them on Instagram and that. Niece, Ariel. Yeah. They get shout outs every time, bro. Yeah, like, that's, yeah. I can't, I don't even understand how people don't claim their family. Like, yeah, that's man. all mad. But uh, um, what you do for them, though, I, I love it, man. It's sick. It's, it's, it's standard, though, right? Yeah, it man. You have, to, you have to. But so like you, you're a good like role model to them, man. I appreciate it, man. I, I hope I hope they they they're able to see this one day and they know how much daddy and uncle um loves yeah. loves them. Yeah, no, nah, I'm sure they will, man. But um, but yeah, and what was I saying? Yeah, so basically, it was it was all about. I loved the job that I was in. It mm-hmm. was good, but I always knew I was gonna do something for myself. Yeah, like I, I feel like I was one of those people that was a little bit counted out. Mm-hmm. Like you go into an industry, um. I was just young, happy, willing to learn, not very assertive, just kind of like whatever. But yeah. I guess that's the work me. I think the real me transpires when I would play football. Mm. Gritty, yeah, angry, yeah. but in the right ways, like mm. not angry. Like just yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it's, that was of course you had to let some steam off and stuff. Yeah, like that's where you really Takes saw your mind off a lot what of stuff. my mind was like. Yeah. I, I, and, and, and I'm proud of that to be fair because you you can't yeah. you need that if you're going to succeed with things in life you got to be relentless mm-hmm. so then I just thought it was like 2014 and and for you for you young guys Gen Z yeah that's when WhatsApp kind of like came alive mm. after BB we, yeah we had BBM and that yeah BB yeah. but after BB WhatsApp like WhatsApp thing? started coming alive and you could send your memes and it was just yeah, mad yeah, funny yeah I just remember like bantering with my friends even when i was at work and i thought hang on a minute man's bridges are funny and there's all <laughs> these jo- jokes going on and no one's paying me for it yeah why am i not getting paid for this you clocked like, your mad, head, it? mad arrogance thinking like i should be getting paid like yeah, what's yeah. can't pay a brother for all these jokes yeah, nah. for real and um and it's so mad because i had one goal i said like, i want to make something i want to make a show mm. uh, and i want it to be a show where my opinion um is held in regards in a room with the likes of Ian Wright or Rio Ferdinand. Sick. That was the, that was my number. Funny that was, we'll get us that later. Yeah, but that was my so mad, didn't it? That mm. was my number one. Like, if you could have goal or something. Yeah, you know, you have a mission yeah, statement. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. there was the company mission statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my personal but goal, two. bro. Them That's two. Mad, though. Them two. For and some now, reason. And now look. We'll get into that later. We'll, we'll get there. We'll but get yeah, there. We're warming, yeah. man. We're warming. Hey, God, God is good, mate. <laughs> but um, but yeah, no, nah, for real. And then after that, I I, I teamed up with friends at the time. Mm-hmm. Like um, I had my friend Ryan, Jide, Nick. Are they just bridges from uh, area no? that I went in uni with? Okay, uh, and uh, and also David Akeem. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and then you know we. First of all, I'd created a show actually. Before that, I hooked up with my boy Odot. Shout out to my boy Odot. He taught me how to edit mm-hmm. and he filmed my first like debate show. Yeah. And it was dead. But like all friends came true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I thought, wow, we, you know, this is kind of sick. Like, I don't know what it, this is, but there's something in there. The mm. editing was crap. Yeah, Everything yeah, was yeah. like rubbish. But you know, when sometimes you just got to believe in your own yeah, source, yeah, yeah. people. You got to believe in your own but source. But you saw the vision, though. Yeah, there's some vision. Like, mm. you don't really know what it is because back then, the but only you, people... But you knew you had Saturn. Yeah, but the only people that we had to look up to at the time was probably, like, KSI and that. Yeah. And KSI was just gone. Yeah, gone. To us from day one. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 Obviously, yeah. it's different now, but mm. he was just like, huh, mm-hmm. gone. You know? not, yeah, not, not many people doing that kind of stuff nah, on YouTube it wasn't. or and, any platform. And if people did, they were trying to be, like, mad professional. Yeah, and not it, just themselves, you know what I mean? Not must, it was yeah. too, like, robotic and, yeah. Very robotic, like, everyone trying to be someone they're not. And mm. I, I already know that I didn't study journalism. I, all I know is to be myself. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, like, it was, it was just a bit mad, if I'm honest. Yeah. But what happened then? We, we teamed up with the guys and, and then... As things get more serious, some of the other friends drop out. Shout out to the guys that dropped out. Um, no, we're still friends with everyone and that. So, 
Yeah, so then it just became me, David, and Akeem. Yeah. And then later on, Jermaine, uh, Big J, yeah, yeah. also works now at Murky, okay. Stormzy. Yeah, yeah. So massive shout out to Jermaine, he's doing awesome A&R work. Massive shout out to everyone. They're all doing really, really yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Like Everyone's doing great stuff. So, um, yeah. And then what happened is we just started going to games, traveling late, yeah. night, coming back, doing edits. At the time, I just had a little one as well. It's all mad. Yeah, like a massive shout out to my sister as well because sometimes on days when I would need to go get show and make some quick bread because I didn't yeah. have anything, yeah, yeah. she'll look after my little one. That's sick. And do you know what I mean? Even though like to the outside or sometimes it might be like, oh yeah, but you're going and you're, you're supposed to but be they don't the little see one. The whole like, yeah, but I need to, yeah, yeah, you're man. always balancing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And then I think at the same time, but because I, I'd quit my job mm-hmm. in pharma. Yeah just before june 2016 and the reason why i remember that is because it was the euros that year oh yeah so i took a big leap step and just left 2016 that's when we met that's that was was through um was it was through uh the nike campaign remember that one 2016 what what year was that the the, when it was it was it was was. yeah just before england was flying to the was it world cup yeah, yeah, yeah. It was World no, Cup. No, it was to, no, it was it was what? to the Euros. Euros. One of them. Yeah, it was the Euros. It was definitely the Euros because World Cup was 2018 was Russia and I went y- there. Yeah, twice. Yeah, I don't know if Russia will ever catch me. I'll be very, very real. Hey, it was sick there. There was a lot of people that we know there. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. Sick. I mean, you'd have to pay me bread, otherwise I don't know. I if went there was. with J- Jamie. Jamie yeah, he went there. He went there. He went. He was doing some sort of football content out there. Because I must have been with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I was there with E Man. Yeah. And cow and... But if it's or, for that kind of stuff, I'll do it. Yeah. But I'm not going to just go just for holiday and vibes. And that. Yeah, but the, the reality is he who dares wins. Yeah, you're true. You're right. Come on, man. You're right. I mean, I remember when people were telling me, don't go Saudi Arabia, man. Don't go. It's Why? mad. Like, because you know, Saudi hasn't always really been like yeah, a free, true. free country. I'd feel a bit better going there than Russia. Though, really? But I went I, there... Russia has shook at them, man. Yeah, but I went there because... Of the Anthony Joshua fight, Ruiz too, yeah, yeah, and they had made some changes to the country. I just looked at everyone. I said, "Fun you, man, man, I'm going." Yeah, but I went if you wasn't was getting lit. if you wasn't getting bread for it though, you would would you have gone? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I would have. You still would have. Yeah, because I'm not saying I would go. I'm not like a daredevil. Like I ain't jumping out of planes and stuff. Yeah. That's just not me. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes when it comes to work or when it comes to discovering new stuff, you I just mind. feel like I'm I'm, like I'm ready to go. Yeah, like, yeah. Saturday, I've never been to Scotland. I know it's not the same. Yeah. Saturday, I'm going to Scotland. I ain't seen Celtic play. I'm going to go watch them play, man. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to create some content. 100. You know, like, I might call up a few brands tomorrow morning and say, listen, I'm going. Do you want this content? You mm-hmm. do? Okay, cool. I've yeah. already booked everything. Cover everything. Pay me. Yeah. Boom. Fortune favours the brave, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, But yeah, like, so literally, after, yeah, Euros, we were doing some sick stuff. I remember when I met you. It's through um, the Nike campaign, isn't Harry, it? I met you through the Nike campaign where myself, David, and we snuck on the team on the coach. We were asked by, you know, the lovely Kerry Williams and the rest of the team. Big up all them, man. Shout out Kerry Williams. <laughs> He's got having flashbacks. Come on, man. Uh, that's my friend now, actually. Yeah. I'm like, she's actually my friend now. Um, and yeah, so basically we were asked by Nike. We had done a few gigs, but we were asked by Nike to... to um, host what was it it was to go pick up fans yeah yeah england fans you thought you were gonna go do what i don't know really no josie shout out josie yeah ah, josie. My, that was my plug innit? it yeah, yeah yeah she just yeah. told me like oh make sure you're ready on this day looking kind of sharp or whatever yeah. someone's gonna come to your door or pick you up it was like, like give you on? stuff or bring you to a place or whatever like, yeah they'll turn up us. yeah and the next you know there's the big National England bus outside your crib in South Acton in the hood, fam. In South Acton in the hood. So these men are knocking on my door now with all cameras, all sorts. I'm thinking, like, well, hey, like, what's congratulations. Thinking, you know, he's thinking, what? I'm thinking, what, where Next am I going? You know, it's funny because AJ Tracy was on that coach. Yep, so yep. was so Dave was Santan there. Dave. Yeah. Ooh, there were some was big sick. people at bus. I saw Wayne Rooney. But no, but you got there too quick, man. You got to <laughs> learn to tell the story properly. Next thing you know, we go back to like some hotel place. Yeah, and yeah, you were yeah. like, I'll oh, sick all the Nike goodies. Oh, yeah, I jumped, I jumped here, I jumped here. Boom, it. boom, boom. Next thing you know. Got kitted out on the hardest gear. Got kitted out. He comes back on the coach with the other winners. Mm-hmm. And then, boom. The coach ain't moving. <laughs> Why? Because certain people got to come on the coach, people. Was, that was facts. That's right. This is how facts. you tell a story. That was facts. Next thing you know, boom. 
Raheem Sterling walks on the court. Man, bot past me. I'm thinking, hey, ain't that my man? Ain't that my man? Wayne Rooney comes on the coach. Wow! Also box past me. Listen, it was a matting. There was a number of brothers. Like, Shout out Wilshire, num- all of them man there. Jack Wilshire, you know that back then Wilshire was... Yeah, he was, was doing his thing. He's, he's still one of the hardest. He's I still one of the hardest. Massive shout out to you, Jack Wilshire. Yeah? Very, very cold baller. Secret very, very scout. Cold. Me and you know. You know the deal. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, boom. All these England players are coming on and it was it was sick. And mm. I think we just kind of like connected, didn't it? Yeah, man. Bro, like what it was. It was it a was mad just, day. It was just authentic. And since 2016, it's 2022 now. It's mad yeah. that we've stayed in touch for like for real. S- six years. Oh, we, like, we would see each other at other events. We'd see each other at other events and stuff like that. And then what happened is we went to the World Cup. Yeah. Went with 90 Min and Ben Haynes. Mm. Um, shout out to Ben Haynes. Ben, you don't shout me no more, man. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then we went out there and um, and it was an, a learning experience. You're away with people for the first time, friends, mm. some highs, lows, to be honest with you as well. Mm. Uh, we came back and it was like, all right, I was full time. The others were still working. I was just like, well, I'm full time. Yeah, like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I've got to get in. And to be honest with you, it was just blessings that we came back and then we got called for more jobs and stuff and we were just trying to rake it in and our channel was doing well at the time cheeky sport yeah um it just started doing well and then we we linked up with rinse to have a podcast like we just started trying things out Mm -hmm. and and again people fortune favors the brave we started up a new show i think i discovered troops yeah yeah and um, he would do AFTV and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. But he would do our thing first, actually, Cheeky Sport. Oh, sorry. I told him. Go so wait, did AFTV. he start off with you lot? Yeah, I would so see him at games. On... Bro, I, saw, I met Troops, yeah. When he went, <laughs> it was Arsenal versus uh, Aston Villa in the FA Cup final. So mm. this is def- definitely after the Euros, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was before the Euros, I think, actually, because my daughter was born in 2015. Yeah. I remember speaking to him in 2015. 2015, you know, that sounded yeah. like yesterday, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going So on? then after that, so then I, I, we just got on well, innit? Mm. And then, boom, um, next thing you know, he he, we just stayed in touch and he was like, I'm, I'm messing with your thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what Troops is like? He's energy for days. Blood, for days. Blood, I'm, <laughs> like, all of that, yeah. And then I just liked him, innit? And yeah. then he would come on our show. But our show was really short back then, like only five minutes. Yeah. And he used to be like, you got to get me on there more, man. It used to piss him off. Yeah. And then, and then, but he would still come on the show. He's got a great heart, that guy. Mm-hmm. Then after that, he um he started going on AFTV. I, I encourage him, like, yeah, bro, go yeah. on it, bro. And then he just Just gone. Up. Gone Yeah, now. he blew up. And then, and then, but he would still do our podcast show. And I feel like back then there was like communication issues on my side and on his side. And then after a while, he didn't do it anymore. But yeah. yeah. No, but it was to Too be honest with you. No, nah, it was it was more we just thought ah, it yes. wasn't working. Yeah, forget. But um but thank goodness that we got past that bit in mm. our friendship. I was actually at his wedding Swear. not long ago. Yeah, man. Like and it's so nice to see you go through ups and downs with people. Yeah. You're able to like, do you know what I mean? Meet in the middle. Yeah, man. Um yeah, it was even an honor to be invited, to be honest with you. It was good. It was good to see likes of expressions there. Sick. Um People that he's doing these own content, smashing it. His brother Ransom, yeah. uh, Ransom Ransy does content with him as well. Yeah, yeah. They were there. Obviously, Robbie was there. So a lot of the like content creators from that space were. But there. you kind of knew all them, man, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Robbie, Robbie ain't called me back yet. Still, fam, fam. Ro- Robbie, Rob's what happened? We had on, that bro. show. Why well, go on, Robbie, man? Cool, but man. um, but Robbie was the first person to retweet us when we got twitter <laughs> i was out there so i remember all this stuff like yeah like, it was it was sick you remember it though because that was like big enough your, your thing what? isn't it bro at the time when don robbie is yeah i like your stuff man <laughs> like that's literally what, something like that on the tweet and i'll just like so regardless of like what happens with these people i tried to pay honor and respect for the first things that they did to man don't mean that People can take the piss, but yeah, yeah. You, there's that level of respect there mm-hmm. where, and I hope that they have this, this the same because there's times in our life, in my life, where I've tried to make sure that I've respected people as well. Do you get where I'm coming from? It's got to be reciprocated, man. Yeah, like, and that's why I have the respect for you because I've known you for six years. I'm never going to turn around and start yeah. doing Mr. Crazy Busy. You can always get free. Wow, well, you know he this. says that. Yeah. But last week, I tried, I was like, yo, I was Joel, with Wayne Rooney, come man. on. Man, man said, no, I can't come. I was like, yo, why? Oh, I got to shoot with Wayne Rooney. I was like, whoa, all right. Wayne Rosa. 
Only reason I let you off. But he's because he, you see, because you're my brother, I ain't got a lie. Wait, yeah. If he was making up a, some neck I ain't got a, and then I oh, see the my stories brother, and, I can't make it because I'm sick, you yeah, know, yeah, I got yeah. hit with it. And, I'm nah, glad bro. you kept it real, I'll be real. Oh, bro, what? I told you straight. Wayne Rooney. I don't take I don't take like six days to reply. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you there and then. Where are we? Where are we? We're 2016 mm-hmm. after the Euros. Mm-hmm. So I finished the Euros and then we come back. Thank God I was given gigs. And even though you're full time. Mate, people think because you're full time, you're you're there. But like, you're still scraping the barrel, people. Yeah. Sometimes it's tough, you know. But I just kept on going to games. We're traveling up and down the country, you know. I'm. It, it was just tough. Because you're being mad consistent, isn't it? Yeah, trying. And then we just started doing that like, loads of sponsored work because I needed the bread. Even though I think we did too much in some areas, but at the time I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got people Looking to back really now, teach you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't know what you're really doing, innit? Like yeah. sometimes you you compensate your channel for the bread mm. and i did that so many times which eventually in the end i think killed our podcast uh, our channel our youtube yeah. channel so you youtubers sometimes i know it's appealing when people come with the hashtag ad but people like you for you i'm not saying don't do brand work it just has to be a balance and try to make sure that the brand you work with you can be yourself more than anything yeah because they don't once your audience is gone that's they're it. Gone. They're gone. They're not going to be sitting there going, hey, Jay, we like you still. Nah, they like who's popping. And that's why I I try, especially as the years have gone, forgive me if I haven't always done this, but I really do try. I try to treat people with as much respect as possible. Yeah. Because sometimes you can't reply to everyone. Like, I'm only one man, mm-hmm. especially days when you upload something banging. And I try my best because it's still customer servicing to reply to the audience, but sometimes you can't, can't yeah, yeah. you know, or you can't always reply to everyone in your WhatsApp messages. Like I know in my WhatsApp messages, there's people I haven't replied to. And I pray to God that you know me enough to know that it's not like, it's that. not, yeah, 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 I'm not really, you know what I mean? Yeah. Unless you're like a complete idiot, mm. then you're getting air. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. lie. Then you're getting air. <laughs> you are getting it. Keeping it real, man. He's keeping it, keeping it real. South East London. What, what are we talking? South East London. I'm from South East London, Crystal Palace. Oof. Um, yeah, man. Up in Norwood. Okay. Am I right in SC19. saying this? Did you grow up with Stormzy or not? Um, or you just so know him or something? Uh, no, we we all from the same area. Yeah. Like, kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Where we're from, it's all kind of connected. So you got, like, Fort and Heath. Yeah, yeah. Crystal Palace, Up in Norwood, South Norwood. So, wait, why, why do you not support Palace? That's my local team, bruv. Man said local. They're in the Prem G. So? And you Listen, you got to remember, yeah. At the my time when man was growing Chelsea. up, yeah, was my blessed. local team had really my local, brothers bro. in there. My yeah. brothers, Thierry Henry. Yeah, yeah. Vieira. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. But you got, like, obviously, they weren't in the same. But you, but you got to you know I mean? ride out the Palace thing. Yeah, but it's like, I like Clinton Morrison. He was my guy. Like, yeah. I, Let me be real. People are going, oh, the black players. Like, yeah, you got to remember, you, you especially those times, when you saw someone that you could relate to, you it was extra yeah, special. Okay, let yeah, me not lie to enough. you. Fair enough. Like especially then, like mm-hmm. what? Because yeah. you're looking at man like you've made it out the hood. Yeah. When you're hearing that righties from Broccoli, mm-hmm. you're like, oh my days, that's only two, three stops. Yeah, yeah. Do you you know can what relate mean? to it, man. You can relate to it. You can relate to it. Like mm-hmm. I remember, like even players that are like Premier League players, just like your everyday. Like yeah. I remember. Someone told me once that Nigel Ria Coca, he used to play for Aston Villa and West Ham, by the way, you, you definitely won't know. Mm. But um, like that he was from Camberwell. Yeah. And to man, that was a big deal because I knew That's, people from Camberwell yeah, Estates yeah. and I just thought, Mad. rah, yeah, yeah. you can make it. Mm-hmm. Or Anton Ferdinand from Peckham, you're mm-hmm. like, rah, or Rio, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. You're like, rah. Like. So these people meant so much to us. So, yeah, that's why Arsenal was my team. Man. Fair like, enough. We'll let you off then. We'll let you yeah, off. Yeah, let me off, you know, this guy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, and then, so then, yeah, so basically that's where I grew up and, and there was a lot of us. There's a lot of us that actually ended up in entertainment that that we all grew up in the same area together. It's mad. Everyone's always from South and East and... Yeah, it's... I mean? But what I mean, we, I don't know what's we in the water all knew on your each sides. other from day one. I always say one day I'm going to, like, write a book or do a doc. Like, yeah. Like Storms came to my house as like a 13, 14 year old mm. and he was brought to, to me because I had like a studio back then. Yeah, yeah. Like mad basic settings mm. and he came and then Jermaine, who is actually his A&R now, That's funny it. enough, like I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was just like, yo, my cousin can spit, like come do a tune, yeah, tune yeah. let him record here and it was like, all right, cool. Um, and then, yeah, basically 
He was just sick. Is it? It was from the get-go. He's always been good. From like 13, 14, he was the hardest. No, nothing. He didn't need to improve or nothing. He was the hardest for his age. The funny thing is, I say his age. Has his voice always been mad like that? Nah, come on. He's 12, 13. No, but don't don't say that. I hear some school kids these days. I don't know what they're eating as well. They're mad too and their voices are nuts. Yeah, nah, he wasn't anything like that. Nah. He was just determined. Like, you could see when he walks in, like, mad confident coming. There was an aura about him, and this hard. thing, and and yeah, that's it, really. And then you have like other people within the same area. Michael Dapper, he's always been around. Mm-hmm. Um, I knew Michael when I got a little bit older. Uh, when my best friend got stabbed in the heart, Michael rang me. He got my number somewhere, and he rang me. And he was just like, I think he wanted to do like a documentary on my friend Charms or something. Mm-hmm. He said, would I want to be in it? And I was just like, yeah, cool. Like At the time, I was kind of like depressed and stuff because I'd lost my friend. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like, and then we just stayed in touch. And then you have the likes of the Crepton Conans in the area. They've always been yeah. sick at spitting. Yeah. The, you know, um, they grew up in Southeast as well. Then you've got my friend Luke Mack, who he's not like in UK rap, but he's in like, dance music he signed to calvin harris oh smart yeah he's doing really wow. really really well like there's a lot of people within the area that are just sick. And they're all local from you look local when it's i mean mad, local man. like local yeah um and there's more mm. there's actually more people that have done really really well in different industries these yeah. are just the people that come off mm-hmm. the top of my head but there's definitely more apologies yeah. if i've forgotten you <laughs> like uh, there's so much talent man like it's ridiculous people talk about the water that's in I don't know what's going on what's in our water I'll tell you what bro. it's hard resilience and grind you know what I mean that's what's coming out of our waters mate yeah but uh but yeah and that's it and what's really cool is that sometimes now when you go to events and you're there on your own accords yeah it's really sick you know and then and then you have people that are just like great inspirations yeah um we not storms just because his name's the biggest but yeah. you know like you got to remember when I first met someone like that, he was like my younger brother. Mm-hmm. And I don't like to use that word yeah, a lot because yeah, people yeah. love that. That's Everyone my younger bro. From like, yeah, like, but I'm not, I don't really like that stuff. But it I was feel like, true though. I feel like people develop and they become the man that they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he really was. Like, yeah. he really was. But yeah. then I listen to him now and, and the guy's wise beyond his years. His years. Yeah. And sometimes there'll be certain things that he talks and he doesn't know how much I listen to him. Mm. He really doesn't know. Like, and, I, and I'm not talking musically. I'm talking about his life stuff yeah you know i look at uh, and his mindset you know like he's got us doing some gym thing at the moment um like gym workouts every day and the way he's got the ability of rallying troops mm. yeah is is impeccable do you know i'm coming from and um and yeah massive shout out to him and jermaine and, and rachel his sister who also helps with uh, that stuff as well so really positive what's group. he on right now do you know he's just ghosting like he's working what? an album and that always working man always working what? Sat- that guy, that guy look at that exclusive for them man i just say he's working man like the guy's always working he's a he's a he's a, he's a genius yeah sick man it. yeah man like, yeah it. big up you lot in south man you've done your thing yeah shout out to everyone man like like i said you know what i mean yeah. like that there's people as well who work on the low and people don't know what they're yeah, doing yeah yeah you know um there's people running jewelry businesses there's people who are just doing sick stuff. Mm-hmm. Just sick stuff. Yeah, moving on to uh, working with brands and players and teams. Who are some of the best players and uh, brands you've worked with? I've got some written down. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, man, I forget. It's like you, your mind goes blank when... Yeah, you that's that. what everyone says. As soon as you get in that seat, you just... Yeah. Don't mind. Um, well, we've got written down here, obviously, England. Some of the England players. And FA. Um, hey, Jesse Lingard. Yeah, I had a dance competition. I with saw him that. Tell him went viral, man. Day, that, yeah, back in the day, I did. He's uh, got better moves there. It's me, bro. <laughs> hey, Jesse's I been let a dancer. Him though. Win. I saw, man, like, when let I saw, him win. What's that about? When I because look, you don't let people win in life in general. Yeah. But the reality is, the story was this. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie. I played on Arsenal, being a little bit of a banner club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came to our stadium, and he's yeah, packed. he mocked it. Mocked it. That ain't my club. I'll be real. That ain't not my club. Moonwalked it. Mm -hmm. Moonwalked on the pitch. And then the next week, there was an event with Coca Cola that I was invited to. And it was Mm -hmm. like a general event. And and, um, I was asked to to go there. And in my head, I was just like, 
I'm a creative. Yeah. So I'm always thinking, what can I do yeah. that's going to set myself apart from everyone else here? That was sick. What? Went there in a Michael Jackson jacket, <laughs> gloves. I saw you had the one glove as well. Do you know what I mean? With Serious. the one glove and shades. I literally watched the video before we started. Yeah. At Cribbed. I was thinking, yeah, let me just yeah. run this thing back up. Because yeah, I knew, because I knew, yeah, because I knew that it, it is, it, it's literally an important thing here. Like, and, and if I can get it right, mm. we could create a moment here. You executed so I remember well, though. telling the DJ, when you see me near Jesse, <laughs> better play that Billy Jean. Yeah. So and he played a big part as well, earlier. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massive shout out to the DJ. I I'm not even trying to disrespect the DJ. I, I know that he was a known DJ, mm. and and I can't remember who it is. Man. Yeah, but, but massive so, shout out to yeah, you. Yeah, so focused so on the dance on moves and everything. Somewhere. Yeah. So then, so then I went there, and I know Jesse ain't no coward. So yeah, yeah. I went there, I challenged him, and then the music plays, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the time it was nuts. The so, time it was nuts. So I did my thing, and this is why I say I let him win because you've got to remember. I know that it goes further yeah. if he wins, yeah, yeah, because he's already the guy that's embarrassed Arsenal. Yeah, you. So you're going hard, but you're not. You get me? Yeah, like you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you yeah. got. He's got to win because it goes further for content. But if you won, do you not think it would have? Bigged up your team more. Nah because people Ain't there to see someone That they don't know win No but then they're gonna be like oh, Who's this brother That just spun Jesse Lingard Do you know what yeah, I mean Or Jesse Lingard Beats Arsenal again Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm coming yeah, from Yeah true And that's why I went so far Like I remember I had a shoot last year With Mikel Antonio And Jesse Lingard And I said to Antonio I said but he goes because Antonio was like, "But he beat you, know. But he beat you, know." I was just and like, "What did you do?" Yeah, I told I him, but I let him win. Yeah, and he didn't understand. He's like, "What do you mean you let him win?" Yeah. Like you, right? Yeah, yeah. But he was a bit more. What do you mean you let him win? Yeah. I was just like, "But listen, like, it's better. It's better for me as a content creator because it gets further." So I, did you before you did the dance thing? You thought, "Okay, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Music's gonna come. I'm gonna let him win." And you so you knew that was everything, gonna, bro. Yeah. Why? Why do you think I went there in a jacket? Coca Cola didn't tell me to go there in a jacket. Of course, of course. But if that's yeah. me dancing, I'm spinning him. Do you know? What yeah, I mean? you tr you do your. I ting. would try and spin him. You do your thing, but the most important thing is that you've got a dance, bro. Who the heck can say that they they at that time? Because it's also about timing. Yeah, yeah. After he did the Michael Jackson thing, who can say that a few days later? They clashed him. Yeah, it's true. You got to run with a narrative. But then, if you beat him, do you get it? I still don't get it, does he? I do he get it, but it's he just like get it. I would have just. You would have been known as about to just spun Jesse Lingard out of that dance motive. Do you know what I'm saying? That, but yeah, so Jesse. Um, who else? Um, a, a lot of stuff with Nike. Yeah. Um, stuff with Google. Um, At, uh, Virgin Media here. Virgin, I did some really sick campaigns with him. Yeah. Uh, as part of the South Southampton Academy. Sick. I need to chat with him again, actually, because to make sure that that's happening again. Make sure. Every year, bro. <laughs> one year contracts. Uh, we had uh, Sky Sports here. Yeah, I've oh, done. You know I've, done I've been, I've been guests on Sky Sports. Yeah. Do you know what I was busting up about? You know, um, what's his name? Rambo. And you boyed off his shirt. Was it that was bad? That, don't you what, was that live? Yeah. I was busting up. Was it up. that bad? Gee, like that's your brethren, obviously, isn't it? Well, but I know him from I don't know him from Rebel FC. But days. Like, are you close, close or what? Well, I felt comfortable enough to D banter him. So dumb, man! Didn't even say hi or yo or. Firstly, I don't know why you're wearing that shirt. That's the first thing he says. Like, you if you notice on that show, I call him Rambo. I don't call him yeah, by his first you know, name because yeah, 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 I, I know him as Rambo. Like I know Rambo from when he moved from like North. Yeah. To come down and he was just trying to be a YouTuber, mad determined. Mm -hmm. I know Rambo from when he would fake injuries at Rebel FC. Yeah, he's mocking like up. like fake yeah, injuries. Yeah. Ask Jamie. Yeah, and that's like you know what I mean. Like Rambo's scummy. You yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, like that's yeah, but yeah. it's our guy. Like yeah, isn't it? Yeah, from yeah. Uh, we have this bond. Like all of us that played at Rebel. Mm. I'm not saying that we're on the phone to each other every week, but there's this bond that you kind of have, like mm -hmm. knowing him from day one. So it's like you. That's why I just go on your IG and I just banter you sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Well, he does. He gets at me on the corner. Like, like, what? Straight. You know what I mean? We ain't seen for time as well, you it's, know? It's actually a sign of appreciation. It's true. Because it's true. if I can't do that, then obviously I don't feel like I, we're yeah. that close yeah, in yeah, it or yeah, close yeah. enough, shall I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, there's that. Done some good content with Rashford. Uh, you know, I've had a chance to sit down with Henri. Sick. Um Ian Wright, surely. Yeah, yeah. Ian Wright was. We did like there was a year. I'll probably say 2018 where we did quite a few things. He blessed like, us. Yeah, he blessed us. He came on our podcast. Yeah, uh, that was really big. Um, him and his agent like hooked it up, and it was it was really good. And yeah, man, like there's just different people. 
I, I can't think off the no, top. Any of my favorites? Head. Or any? What, how about this? I like the England thing that we did. What the one that we was at? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was amazing. That, that, that was content. like one of the first things proper. Yeah, it, so like when you're doing you something like that. that. And then obviously when we went to Russia as well for the 2018 EA Sports content, that was yeah. good because yeah. Rio was our coach, our England coach, and uh, we had oh, I can't remember a legendary name for Germany, but we had someone else managing us. I can't remember. Please don't. Ask. Let's let's get on to it. So um, the yeah. Rio Ferdinand thing. What's going on? Yeah, I met him in 2018. I mean, I'd, I met him in 2016, actually. Yeah. When we were at the Euros in France. Okay. And it was like some mad game for Hublot where there was just bare legends. Yeah, right. Like, Seedorf. Same much. Um, Are you playing on it? What'd you say? Was you playing on it? No, nah, I weren't playing. I was there. Just, I was just there watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was mad. Sian Garnier, my guy, he yeah. was there doing like the halftime stuff and mm. he was a really blessed brother. But Pele and Maradona played. Ross. That's best of both. Pele ones. and Maradona. Yeah, that's nuts. Like it was the maddest event Where I've ever this? been to in my life. Where is that? It was somewhere in France, in Paris, somewhere, somewhere randomly, like mad exclusive. Eleven aside thing and everything. All yeah, and there. Howard Webb, the referee, was there. Massive Bro, shout out to Howard Webb. Ledges up and up. <laughs> like he was, he was doing his thing. Like it was like, it was so weird. Mm. I, till now, like, I, do you know how weird it is? I came across the video yesterday and I watched it. Yeah. Because I was just like, I can't believe this happened. You hadn't seen it since? or No, nah, I'd seen it. Like, maybe you probably check like, that out once a year, again, mate. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I had to remind go, yourself. Go watch like. this, like, right. <laughs> I'm lit. Yeah. You know, but yeah. So, and I remember uh, competing against Rio kickups, and he was just, like, fresh from playing. Mm. Mad competitive. Like, you're doing kickups and that. You head it, like, you know when you keep doing keep yeah, ups yeah, and yeah, that? Yeah. As soon as you headed the ball, grab it. Nope, don't count. You're like, yeah, what? Yeah. Don't lose heads. <laughs> I'm like, bro, how can you make rules? Mm. Nope. One nil to me. Mad cheater and yeah, that. Yeah. Proper cheater. Sort of loser and that. Ridiculous cheater. Mm. And we've got it. I've actually got it on uh, in the video as well. He probably doesn't remember, but I've got it because mm. we'd put it on YouTube. I want to show him one day. But um and then I remember seeing him do some content with Poet and Vooj. And I just thought to myself, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like, even as an Arsenal fan, like, Rio's always been one of my heroes. Yeah, like, yeah. facts. Like, and I thought to myself, I would love to sit there and create content with him one day. Like, oh, like even though I just finished doing kick-ups with man. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Like, you wanted to keep Yeah, I was just more. like, yo. And then I'll never forget, we were going back to our hotel after a game, one of the Euros games, and mm. he had finished doing comms. And I wanted to get him for post-match. Mm. I was always very determined to get the people that I wanted to get. Mm. And we saw him walking, but it was late and the cab couldn't stop. And I was so hurt. Yeah. And I remember that night I went to bed upset, you know, that I couldn't get <laughs> him for a fan cam. Yeah, like. yeah. And then I just remember like, cause like I said, like I'm a, like a, a believer in it. Like mm. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a believer in Christ. I'm not, I'm not always perfect. I haven't always been perfect, but mm. I am a believer in Christ. And I remember praying, thinking, God, just give me the opportunity one day, man. Just please, man. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, it hurt me. I don't know why. Like I it just hurt me bad. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, I need to make this video better. And then how did it come and about? Then, then? And then I met him again in Russia. Yeah. Uh, we were doing some content with Rashford and, mm -hmm. and a lot of the rebel guys, Cal, whatever. Oh, I remember E-Man was there, isn't it? E-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Bear people. Mm. Sorry if I've forgotten who else was there, but loads of people. We flew. We flew to um, to Russia. So uh, we're, actually we did content at St. James's. Yeah. And then there I was onto him, bro. Yeah. Listen, Rio, we do our own thing, you know. Bro, come on, man! You need us on your team. What are you doing, bro? Rio? Yeah, and to him, credit to him. Was he having always, it though? Was he like? Yeah, he's always been like, you know, he's like one of those who's always been happy to look at social media yeah, and yeah. he's really interested in what's going on. He's always got his pulse on, yeah, on you know what I mean. His he's finger on the pulse. Like he's on it, yeah, proper, uh, mm. proper on it. So he was just like, yeah, man, like, stay in contact with like Chris. Chris is his agent. And some people, they say that and they're kind of like, they just, yeah, nah, but he's else. being serious. He's just like, stay in touch. Mm. And I think for like three years, me and Chris would just talking, have random meetups, talking, yeah. whatever, for like maybe like two, three years. And we had developed a good relationship. Mm. I would see Rio a lot. Um, I even started going to say barbers as him. Hey, Rio. Yeah, which is mad. You like, we have, we have trying your hardest to bump into my man, isn't it? Trying hard, fam. Trying, bruv. Uh, like, bruv trying. In real. fact, it was them that sent me to him okay right yeah, yeah and the guy is sick shout out to uh Shino. you are what the best barber around i shout need, out I need to a you, new man. thing so Bar so barber king 
come on my brother you know i love you bro <laughs> uh and like yeah like shino was like he's actually a good friend now as well to be yeah. fair so it was always like maybe always gonna happen one day i don't know and then when lockdown happened um his company new era global the guys there were like a couple of the guys there like chris again was just like look we want to like do a youtube like we want to do this youtube channel come in and and you know let us know what we need mm. and then i was just like All right, cool i come in and then i came in i was just like yeah you're gonna need house and stephen house and because i think he's really good and he's he's got great like resource and stuff mm. you know and um i think you should work with him and they just took my advice and then they were like yeah do you want to be involved i was just like yeah like you know what i mean like mm. as long as it fits and then the first few episodes were dry yeah i was mad nervous for like yeah. Bro, I was nervous for like four to six weeks, you know. Do you like, think it, why why was you nervous? Just because like... I don't know what it was. I've done a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. I've done a lot of things. But for some reason, yeah, I always knew what we were doing could be what it is mm. now. Like five, Vibe with Five. Mm. I always knew, even before it had a name, I just knew, in it. Yeah. And I was just getting things wrong, bro. Like, I should have got sacked the, the first week. Yeah. Like, man forgot Mason Holgate's name on a flipping Zoom. Mm. They're thinking, this boy don't know nothing about football. Yeah, yeah. It's not that. I was it's just... Nervous, bro. Mad. Like, I've never been so nervous in my life. It's because you worked so hard for it, and now that you've I got think to... So. You put too much pressure on yourself. Yeah, bro. like, I put so much pressure. and they, But they don't know that. Yeah. And so I'm there, and there was a lot that... And then also, at the time, I'm only watching Arsenal. I'm not really watching the rest of the Prem too tough. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm more of a content creator now. Like So there was a lot of stuff happening, and there was just bare pressure, innit? Mm. Um, but then I think as the weeks went... You got it just you, Yeah, you that. work... Well, the months went, you work yourself into being the anchor the host the yeah. this and that preparing shows doing this like trying to put in the extra yards to show that right you really want this and yeah, by the time yeah. the euros came we did some really legendary interviews with rude van nistore right. ravel morrison yeah um i like the sadio berahino one that people haven't seen um got to speak to Thierry Henry. um just loads of loads That's of stuff mad, man yeah like and then we, recent ones we've done are with like mark noble mm. Vincent Company, that was a very good one. Mm. Um, just sick stuff, bro. Yeah. Like, sick stuff. Like, I go up and down the country now. People yeah. are like, yo, your podcast is lit. Do you know where I'm coming from? It's, it's mad, bro. The mad journey's lessons. nuts. Yeah, like, and there's so much that's happened in between mm. that, you know, we'll be here for, like, two, three hours. Yeah. But um, like, working, like, with brands is cool. Like, you know, I've worked with, like, the Virgil van Dykes. That was sick last mad. year with Gomez as yeah, well. Yeah. I love that. Um, I've just been able to travel the world, go to sporting events that I wanted to go to. You know, Disney have helped me and my kids. So you yeah, know. and the uh, VPN thing. This guy's going to Dubai and all sorts, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More life VIP. Yeah, uh, that's actually run by my friend. So, yeah. uh, Is Nathan that how you got Cable. bus from that? Or what would you say, sir? Is that how you got bus from that? Well, yeah. I mean, it's funny because again, that's a relationship that I've known the guy since we went uni. Yeah. It's funny because Crept introduced me to him at uni. Oh. Because uh, we we went to the same uni, mm -hmm. and uh, me and Nathan stayed in touch since, and we always said that the day something proper comes, we'll do it. Yeah. And he's in the travel industry, and I'm presenting. Sick. So when that he wanted, well, it? yeah. So then and you got to call up for that. You're thinking, yep. Love. Yeah, man. Just present for them, give them some advice on who they should go for. Mm. So you got that side of things and just Sick, in man. general, man. Hard. A lot of work, man. You just got to keep working hard and trying to make the right moves and have good relationships. And and don't be afraid to try things because when you try things, mm -hmm. it might look crazy to people, but you'll get you'll get results if you keep on going. You just got to learn from it, man. You know? 100%. But before we finish, one question is... Uh, so future plans, what's, what can we uh, what can we see? Um, what can we expect? Man, I'm loving what I'm doing with Five, you know? Yeah? I've got a massive passion with it. I, I still contract with other brands. That doesn't stop. Yeah. I, I do my gigs and stuff, but can't lie, Rio sold it to me, man. Is it? Uh, yeah, man. Like, he really did. And mm. I like, I just like the fact that everyone is allowed to have ideas and... Put your he, input in and just yeah, create them. Yeah, but you still w have to work hard. Yeah, yeah. I don't take it lightly. Like, it's not a joke. Is it ev it's every single day? To me, it is. Yeah. Because I really want to see... Whether you're in or not in the office, isn't it? To me, yeah, to me, it is. I yeah. watch straight, like... Yeah, yeah. When you see me checking things in our breaks, it's, we got shows that we're producing. Mm. Um, got really good shows coming up. I, I don't know when this is coming out, so I'm a bit hesitant to say what it is. But we got shows coming up, Same. like really interesting ones that is not 
that you don't see in our culture and sport. Okay. And we're just trying different things that I think will work well. I really do think it will work well. Sick. Um, and I'm just like praying that, you know, that the audience receives it well. And sometimes even if the audience doesn't receive it well, you need to be confident enough to keep on going with something. Yeah, yeah, you definitely. Know, I, I've had, I've had an in instance where we put something out and the audience weren't messing with it. But yeah. I just felt like they weren't messing with an individual in there. And I just felt like, it was racism and mm -hmm. there was a lot of this cancel culture stuff. Yeah. So it can be a little bit tricky these days and especially when you are working with someone like Rio. So I'm helping to produce a lot of shows basically. Uh, moving so. on to the quick fire questions now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, whatever comes to your mind, let's you just fire it back at me. You ready? Yeah. Uh, who's better looking, me or you? Me. That was a convincing me, you know. Uh, moving on. Best person you've interviewed? I say Rio. Really? Gives me great insight. Oh, that's, see, that's a lot easy, easy one. Yeah, because think of it, yeah. Let me just explain it. Right, you don't have on. to explain yourself, Joel. I do. Go on. Bro, like, I've never had so much insight sitting next to someone. Yeah. Like, these are, like, men that have won Prem six times and the Champions League, and yeah. you get to pick their brain every day. Yeah, yeah. How are you going to tell me that's not the best interview that you've ever had? Fair enough. Fair enough, man. I'll let him off. It's not, you know. Uh, worst person you've interviewed. I don't want a whole paragraph and everything. Yeah. Can just say a little reason okay uh let me think oh, he's got too many to pick from what's going on here what is going on i know there's someone there has to be come on some interviews are dry brother like right oh, that was dead yeah but some people are dry because they're smaller names yeah no not necessarily like, but yeah sometimes you could have sometimes the biggest they people ever and yeah just... the biggest people but i'm trying to think I can't think of the per worst person I interviewed, but the worst person I played with... Go on. Yeah, was Deco. Who? Deco? Yeah. I, do you know why? The Barcelona Deco and then yeah, he Chelsea. Yeah, do you know why, Deco? yeah? Because be off dead. the pitch, he was sick, like... Yeah, but I he had, probably played with him when he's knackered now. No, I know, but that's the thing. He just didn't take the game seriously. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, but he's just... It's a kickabout for him, he don't... Well, it wasn't a kickabout for me. Yeah, but he don't want to be there. He's there. Yeah, I know, he's getting paid. Yard. Like yeah. I know, but it's like... But if you're not going to be there to be serious, then go home, bro. Yeah. I'm not on these people that are going to come and just slow things down just because it's different for them. Get the heck out of it. All right, let's speed it up. Most random DM you've received. I know you've got some random Most ones. random DM. Yeah, you've received. What's popping off, man? You must have some I don't crazy know, probably, ones. Probably those girls that aired you back in the day. And, and now they're here. Sudden, yeah, probably that, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing many people don't know about you, but they should know about you. They don't know about me? Yeah. I give a lot of the stuff that I receive online. Like, I literally give... So, I know brands are going to be like, ah, yeah. it's not sending yeah, yeah, anymore. Yeah. But the reality is, I do my pro I do my promo piece. Yeah. And the majority of the stuff, I think I've only ever sold one thing before. Is it? But I give, like, I'll probably say 80 to 90% of uh, everything I receive. He's keeping it real, man. That's what you get on Dairy Presents. Yeah. It is ones. It's important, though, because when you give, it will come back to you. Caribbean food or African food? I've got to stick with my Africans, and man. I've got to say Come Caribbean. on, man. I was going to you know shake your hand, but I'm we, Congolese with there. that bondu rice. You get me? Come on, man. He hasn't had the Caribbean, man. He hasn't Benier, the go. He hasn't. You know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, would you rather have one leg or three arms? It's a mad question, but just, yeah. If you have one leg, then you've got no arms. If you've got three arms and you've got no legs, how are you going to walk? <laughs> Wayne Rooney or me? Wayne Rooney. <laughs> well, we already knew that, didn't we? Yeah, that's why I didn't come last week. <laughs> uh, something you don't like doing? I don't like running, man. You don't like running? No. It's the most boring thing ever. Uh, most visited website? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Champions League or World Cup? Would you rather win? got to be the World Cup, in it? Just isn't because it? it's... just a different feeling. Yeah, it's just... The whole different. world, like... World Cup, like it, the World Cup just changes. Like it just. Once you've done that, I'm it. hanging my boots up. I'm good, bro. Like I'm steady. Uh, Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Same. It's so funny because online I have the persona of loving Ronaldo more, and I do love him. Yeah, same. I really, really do. I feel like he's the epitome of hard work. I think he is everything. His mentality. I think he even has the. I think he even has the right to say he's better than Messi. I think he he Ronaldo. can, and no one. Yeah, yeah, and no one can argue yeah, 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 yeah. it. And no one can argue it. But 
for me, when I'm comparing their styles more, I think the fluidity of Messi for me is 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 more appealing. That's why when people ask me Zidane or Ronaldinho, I say Zidane. He was probably a better player, but for me, Ronaldinho, I like his fluidity more. Ronaldinho is different, man. He made everyone love football. Yeah, he made now, but Zidane made me love football. So yeah, yeah. Ronaldo, the, original Ronaldo made me love well, football. Fat Ronaldo. Don't call him fat. But he's that's don't like, don't that, fat he, shame he can, my, he can be my hero. Fat, do you nah. know what I mean? Original Ronaldo. Oh, no, but mad. El Phenomeno. Yeah. Uh, chocolate or sweets? Neither at the moment. So Man just got new teeth. Describe yourself in three words. Determined, loving, passionate. I like it. I probably would have just said cheeky sport, Joel. You're cheeky, you're sporty, and you're Joel. See, me and you think differently. Um, and last but not least, just to end this off, best advice you could give someone? Keep trying. If it's not the thing, it will be the thing that leads to the thing. Okay. Don't know why that went off. But, Joel, it's been a pleasure having you on Dairy Presents. Get to know. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. All the best. Thanks so much for coming on. And I'll Thank see you, you soon, my brother. Thank you for having me, man. Thank you my brother, much. I appreciate you coming on. No worries, man. Safe, thank man. you, thank you very much, and uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, Ooh, all dude, of that all kind that of stuff. stuff. Yeah, follow man on the socials. Everything's in the description. Yeah, done. Follow me, subscribe, bow. Thank you.